Welcome to episode 2 on how to model a house in Revit. So if you followed through our episode 1, episode 2 is diving into setting up levels and grid. So let's get started. So let's get on with the base levels. These represent the different floors or sections of your building. Think of them as horizontal layers. You'll typically have a ground floor, maybe a first floor, and the roof. These are the main heights we'll be working with as we build the model. After that, name each level so that they're easy to spot. Go with something simple like ground floor or first floor. Trust me, when your project gets more complex, clear names makes a difference in getting things organized. Now let's set the height for each level. For example, if your ceiling height is around 10 feet, space the levels accordingly. You can always adjust these heights based on your design. Next up, we have grids. These are important for keeping the structure in line. Switch to a floor plan view, maybe starting with the ground floor, and use the grid tool to map them out. These grids help position your walls, columns, and other key features accurately. To stay organized, label the grid lines. For the horizontal ones, use letters A, B, C, and for vertical lines, use numbers like 1, 2, 3. It's like reading a map. It will make things easier to reference parts of your design later. Lastly, check the spacing of your grids. If your house has, say, 20 foot wide sections, adjust the grids to reflect that. You can fine tune this by clicking a grid line and setting the right measurement in the properties. And that's it for setting up levels and grids. Next up, we'll be jumping into modeling the basic structure of the house, so make sure to tune in for that. I'm Mia, your Revit guide, and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our other episodes of this series. Bye! Thanks for watching!